Hello, welcome and greetings from Delft in the Netherlands. Um, we are watching some uh, older videos of uh, radiation-free building and um, we're continuing the, uh, the story where I'm um, briefing some professional painters on the application of uh, shielding paint and we're about to go into how we should be grounding the shielding paint um, and then, um, you know, as in why, but also how to route it around the room. So um, anyway, let's uh, go and have a look. There's this concept of electronic pollution. Uh, the problem is that most houses have, because of their wiring and their exposure to cell phone towers, have an enormous amount of radiation exposure. And that's not good for us during the day, but especially at night time, it's detrimental. If we can reduce what people are exposed to, um, then their health is not as burdened, and then their bodies can do what they can to recover. There's an ever-increasing amount of mobile phone towers around, and we all cop our fair share of exposure to those. Okay, here we are at the uh, building site here in Thailand. So we're going to take some measurements. Okay, nice overlapping. We need at least an inch. Well, here we are, uh, Dubai, very close to the border with Oman. This instrument measures in microvolts. It measures the body. The externals have all been shielded. What do you expect of your four walls? First of all, it's a safety feature. Because with this paint you're making a highly electrically conductive surface, if somebody 10 years from now is, is drilling into that wall with a power drill, and let's say this thing malfunctions and it electrocutes that surface, it won't trigger the circuit breaker unless it is ground. So therefore we must ground it. <coughs> but with these electrical wires that use electric fields, a grounded surface leads them away. So for example, in the master bedroom here, we've got that ensuite next to it. And so there'll be power points there, there'll be electric toothbrushes charging, and that's what so we'll have live wiring on this side of the paint, but because the paint is in the master bedroom and this is grounded, the electric fields from all that wiring are gonna be caught and led away. They won't make it into the room. So we want to ground it for that reason as well. So now I've added bonus. Um, so basically with that tape, you can just cut it, you can make T junctions, but you try and minimize the amount of, of uh, cutting that you do. Um, you will, after so many coats of paint, you will still make it out. You will still see that it's there. So we're trying to make it as less obvious as possible. So you might want to run it right above where the skirting boards are. are. Okay. Or if you've got an ability, you could, if you're already painting before the skirting boards go on, you could run it where the skirting boards are going to be. And you won't see them at all when the skirting boards go into place. Um, Every room is a little bit different, but let's say if there's a door opening over there, you might start on one side, run it along the room, um, wherever there's a power point, you put in a little T-junction so the tape goes up and you stuff about 30 centimeters of, of the grounding tape into the cavity of the power point. Because the electrician will come later and he'll connect that to the ground of the power point. Okay. That's how it gets grounded. He does that. You just stuff it in there for him to so pick up later. Much when you got the hole with it on the wall, you put the type around. You just, just stick it back. in the hole. Okay. The reason you give him 30 centimeters, you won't need 30 centimeters, but okay. if you gave him 10 centimeters, then it's really yeah, tough yeah, work yeah. to get it to okay. do right. Okay, it's easier for them. Plus, if in the future, let's say, I don't know, somebody's <laughs> overpainting that room and they're taking their PowerPoint out, and you know, you take them out and you go, what was that thing, you know? Yeah then they don't know where if you've got 30 centimeters, then, hey, hang on, something's attached. You yes. know, it alerts them to it. Um, so yeah, you just stuff it in the hole. If, when you have a cavity of where the power point is, don't run the tape straight in the middle, ideally a bit to the side. The side. Because okay. all your wi live wires are gonna sit oh, in the okay, middle. Okay. So ideally yeah. have it a little yeah. bit, not right there. Yeah. Would, you know, they'll survive if it is in the middle, but if how, you think about how it. How wide was that tape? Um, well, this is 20 mil. Um, all right, so tape goes around the room. Uh, if there was a window that goes all the way to the floor, then you might have to stop it where that window is. And then you might carry on on the other side, and then you get the electrician to connect that tape to another power point. Right. If the tape can continue, then you only need to ground it at one point. 
mm -hmm. which would be preferable if possible. Where you take it up, you want to put it in place where it's less obvious. So often when you enter a room, that corner behind you, that'd be perfect for it, because yep. you don't look at it. Okay, fair enough. Just so you know. Um, all right, with that tape, um, just pull the backing off, just press, maybe use a cloth and just press it into place. It's, it's a little bit forgiving, but don't, don't pull on it. Mm -hmm. um, with the painting and the PowerPoints, stay about five centimeters away from uh, the edge of the PowerPoint, where the okay. hole is. Just leave a little gap. Again, it's electrically conductive, so we don't want to get it too close to the live wires. Um, then when the tape is in place, Start sucked into the hole, then you're ready to put your second coat on. Um, second coat, and, and then that's and that's done. So the tape goes the whole way around the room at the bottom, or just one more? You want, yeah, just down the bottom one. You just need one stretch of tape through that panel that's painted. So a wall panel, a wall panel, maybe a ceiling panel. Oh, but so you don't need to go around the ceiling because you've, if you've got yeah. one strip, you've done that panel. That's fine. So if all four walls are getting painted, it just goes around the whole. At yeah. the bottom, yeah. We might quickly you know, look at two rooms as an example, though, yeah. to give you yeah. an idea of how I would run it. Yeah. Okay, it's always uh, interesting to see sort of the feedback we get from professional painters. It's just so simple to implement this stuff. Even you know, your ordinary families who doesn't paint that often can do this very successfully. Uh, of course, we're available to assist if that's necessary. Um, so uh, normally no big deal, no big problem. Anyway, hope you uh, found this all educational. Please subscribe to our newsletter, follow our channel, and um, yeah, investigate some more on our website, radiationfreebuilding.com.